Our morning began with a flurry of bird action in the trees and a robber gray jay that stole a nut. But of course that wasn't all. In the sky above us, we saw a golden eagle circling majestically. After looking at the golden eagle, we built up a fire and made some bacon. When we finished breakfast and were ready to begin the first activity of the day, we put out the fire. Got in the car, and we headed off to Johnston Canyon. The hike began beside a running river, which led to a small falls in a large canyon. A little while up, we saw our first bird, a mountain chickadee. We were also met up with some gray jays a little further up the trail. And with a little more hiking, we've reached our final destination, the Ink Pots. Ink Pots are rock formations that form from underground springs that force water up to the surface, forming an ink pot full of beautiful blue water. Sometimes Ink Pots overflow, and in this case, downstream into a river. We also saw a couple bird species. Looking for some food? Yep. I also noticed a white crowned sparrow in a spruce tree, a common mountain resident. It is more colorful than most other sparrows with its bold black and white crown stripes. This bird favors open shrubby meadows, bogs, forest edges, forest clearings, riparian thickets, alpine meadows, lake shores, suburban yards, and willow clumps. White crown sparrows can be found all across North America, from Alaska all the way down south into parts of Mexico. These birds are also great singers with their boisterous, Oh See Me, Pretty Pretty Me song. The white crowned sparrow, according to eBird, is said to be of least concern with a global breeding population of 60 million. 
Despite this, between 1966 and 2012, there has been a 29% decrease in white crown sparrow populations. After watching the birds, we went down to the riverside. While we were there, I also collected some water, boil back a camp, and to drink. After that, we began the long walk back. Finally, we got to the truck and began the drive back. <laughs> we got back to camp, we started a fire and began cooking some bacon. I also began boiling my spring water that I gathered at the ink pots. We also began making some delicious campfire popcorn. By now it was getting pretty late, so we decided to begin our second night walk of the trip. After a little bit of wandering in some new areas we didn't do last time, we headed back to camp, where we got ready for bed. Good night, part two.